What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please also join the channel. Drop the super chats and super thanks. Anything that you can do to help pour money into the channel allows me to pour out into you guys. The more, the more money we have coming in, the more time I get to spend making content. And this is what I love to do. And I'm trying to make it full time. But I need y'all help and y'all support to do that. Now, with that being said, bro, let's get to the video. Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Imanta standing on this are back locked in. This fight them been postponed 50 11 times, man. It done been postponed 50, 11 times, bro, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited, and I'm glad that they finally about to get it cracking, man. They finally about to get it cracking. And for Virgil Ortiz Jr., in this video, you know, no disrespect to him on to stand on this. He's a hell of a fighter. He could very well win this fight. But Virgil Ortiz Jr. is the one who, you know, is the biggest star. He's the one... With the 100% KO ratio, he's the one that people compare to Jerron Boone Tennis. They consider him a can't-miss prospect. All that shit. Look, man, Virgil Ortiz Jr. is better for the culture of Mexican fight fans. He's better for fight fans in general. And boxing will just be better off if Virgil Ortiz Jr. is able to realize his potential and, and, and get to where people think that he can go in boxing. A pressure, power, punching, 100% KO ratio. With pure dog in him, how he bounced up and, and, and showed his toughness when he was in the ring with Imantis Stan, uh, not Imantis, uh, Aegis, Aegis Kalvinoskis, Mean Machine, Green Bean Machine. Some of y'all call him Green Bean, Mean Machine, him. And so he just is great for the sport. And you know, he from the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, Dallas, Texas stand up. You know, he from Grand Prairie and shit. We rocking. He from Grand Prairie, so we rocking. You know what I mean? But I just hope, and I spoke on this the last time I spoke on Virgil Ortiz, something up, bro. Something with the inside of the body, the blood or whatever, his body don't respond well to cutting weight. And so they say that the fight is on for July 8th. Um, come June, about three weeks out, four weeks out from the fight, when you start monitoring your weight, gradually beginning to cut weight and seeing how that goes, um, I'm gonna be looking at the, I'm gonna be looking at ldubboxing.com and I'm gonna be looking at Boxing News 24 and BoxingScene.com, just looking like, hey, bro, fight still on, fight still on, fight still on, fight still on. I'm gonna be doing that shit because. Virgil Ortiz Jr., no, no disrespect to him. I think he's a phenomenal fighter. But remember, he was at 140. He moved up to 147 because of those weight issues with making weight. He's, he, he's been struggling with his weight cut his entire career. And by all accounts, he's a hardworking young man that put his all into the sport of boxing. So it's not for lack of effort or lack of um, trying to be in shape. It's either his body just don't respond well to cutting weight, as some people don't. And he keep having that rab though where the blood start releasing toxins and shit, make you real sick, mess with your organs and your kidneys and shit like that and all that weird shit. Go ask a doctor about it. I don't, I don't know, but that's that what it do. It mess you up where you can't, you're sick. Hell. You know what I mean? And this is like the second time he's had those type of symptoms. And I said it when I was speaking on him, bro. He going to have to decide either A, boxing might just, you might just have to go health over boxing and right now he choosing boxing and choosing to fight in the same weight class so with that being said if that's not the change then the change gotta be you have to find out what is causing this you have to find a way to cut weight in a more healthy manner whether that's a nutritionist whether that's moving up to 154 giving yourself seven more pounds to play with moving up to 160 giving yourself 13 more pounds to play with. I have no clue what Virgil Ortiz Jr. walks around at, but if he's cutting down from 170, 165, as some welterweights do, 
then bro, maybe that 25, 30 pounds you're trying to cut, bro, is doing damage to your body and you need to consider maybe only cutting 10 to 15 pounds. Finding a way to fight or to walk around closer to the weight that you fight at, some dudes are just too big. And you might just be too big and bro, it's plenty of legacy, it's plenty of smoke up there for you at 154 if you can't make 147 no more. Man. So I'm excited that him and Iman is standing on this for me potential fight of the year candidate, phone booth, um, can't miss. Like, I can guarantee you one thing. You may see some fights that you like, man, it could be a good fight, but it might be a little bit of a snoozer. You'll see some fight cards, and we already have seen some this year. You'll, you'll see some where you're like, eh, I don't know. Hell, we got some this weekend. It got down. Listen, I'm a diehard boxing fan, but the Roley Romero Barroso card, like I'm more interested in Kenneth Sims and Akhmadov on that card. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. The co-main event to me, best fight on the card, Akhmadov versus Kenneth Sims Jr. I'm, that, that's the one we tuning in for. That's the one that I'm here for on that one. And then you got the ESPN Plus card with uh, I like that co-main event, Jason Maloney versus uh, Australabio. That's a good fight. That's a real good fight. Um, so it's some good fights this weekend. For boxing nerds such as myself, some of y'all don't even know these fighters, but whatever, bro. I'm tuned in. We got the predictions up for those fights for the members, and we, we locked in. But I say all that to say this fight between Virgil Ortiz and Imanta Stanionis, assuming Stanionis, because the fight got postponed one time because of him, too. So assuming Stanionis is the best version of himself and he healthy, assuming that Virgil is the Virgil that we know him to be and he healthy, dog. Dog, this fight... Fighter of the year candidate, bro. Fighter of the year candidate, no matter who wins. These fighters are made to put on a good fight with each other. Two high guard fighters with tight guards, looking to land body shots, power shots, good discipline, um, good guard manipulation. I think Virgil's a lot stronger of a puncher, but Stanley Onis may be more physically strong. It's bro, it's a it's a great goddamn on matchup. So I just hope that for Virgil Ortiz, it's great news that they got the new fight date. It's great news that it's supposed to go down in less than two months. Um, but let's just hope that he can make the weight comfortably and he doesn't have these issues flare up. Like, I mean, because we're to the point now, what is this, two times, bro? Two times he's had to postpone fights because of things like this. Like, I ain't know, I ain't his, his daddy, obviously. Shit, I ain't in the camp. I would just say, how many times does something have to happen to you over and over again before you make whatever adjustment needs to be made? And I'm not saying they have or have not made adjustments. You, this is just a boxing fan talking to you. So maybe they have found a problem. But we said this the first time that he had this shit. So, you know, whatever. Maybe they have found a problem and got the nutritionist, got him eating the right type of food, got him walking around at a healthier weight for him to make 147. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, this issue looks like it's going to be a reoccurring thing. And as a fighter, you don't want shit going on on the inside of your body because you never – because you never know what will happen. Your body react to a punch and shit, man. And last thing we want to see is somebody physically just done wrong and, and all the way hurt in the ring or worse. And we all know what worse is because it happened in boxing every year. We don't want nobody losing their life um, in the boxing ring or anything like that. So, you know, best wishes to Virgil Ortiz Jr. Boxing, as I said at the beginning of this video, much better with him in the fold. Much better with him in the fold. We lit. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Um, I just hope we get there. I hope we get there. I hope we get to see it. Um, and both fighters are 100% healthy. And you know, may the best man win. But watch out for this fight, man. It's going to be a fighter of the year candidate. Mark my words. As long as they got their usual punch resistance, because standing on his, he didn't show the good beard on him and taking the shots to the body well. Virgil and showed he got that dog done two shots well. As long as they got the resistance, that they've had in the past with being able to take punches, this one going to be a barn burner from round one to round 12. Highly dangerous boxing match in the phone booth. I'm talking about you might well put them in this little shot right here. That how close they going to be. They going to be getting it cracking. Neither one of them like to take a step back, and they both highly skilled operators inside that ring. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Virgil Ortiz, Imanza standing on this July 8th. It's going down. Let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night 
at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.